Hi everyone, this is the first tutorial using OpenFoam through Blue CFD. And before starting, uh, we need to copy the tutorials folder to the run folder. For this, enter to the start menu, select Blue CFD core folder, and enter to OpenFoam A. Here, select tutorials folder, copy, return to the run folder, enter to OF user of FA, enter to run, and paste. Uh, why do we copy this folder? Well, because we don't want to modify or change the original folder. If we make a mistake in this folder, we delete and copy the tutorials folder again. The previous folder can be delete or remove. Select and delete. In this first simulation, we are going to copy a file that comes by default in the Tutorials folder. Enter to the New Tutorials folder, Incompressible, Icofoam, Cavity, select Cavity, right click, copy, and return to the wrong folder and paste. Now open Cavity, and you can see three folders. All simulations that we develop will have these three folders, zero, constant, and system. The zero folder contains information about initial conditions and boundary conditions. The constant folder contains information about transport properties, and the system folder contains information about, in this case, the geometry, the mesh, the contour time, the schemes, and the solution. Now open zero folder, and you can see two files, pressure and velocity. In this case, I open velocity, right click, and open with Notepad 2. Very important, Notepad 2 was installed when I installed BlueCFD on Windows. The first part contains information about the file. For example, in this case, the version is open for an A, the format is ASCII, and the object is velocity. The second part contains information about the velocity for this simulation. For example, uh, the dimensions, this is the units in meter per second. Please assume that we are talking about meter per second. In the next video, we will talk about units in open form. The internal file is the initial condition, in this case it's zero. And boundary file, in this case we have three boundary conditions, moving wall, fixed walls, and front and back. In moving wall, the value is one meter per second in one direction only, in this case, X direction. Fixed walls is no slip, and front and back is empty. Close the file, return to the cavity folder, and open constant. In this case, we have only one file, transport properties. Right click, open with notepad2, and in this case, uh, we have the viscosity in square meter per second. The value is 0 0.01. Close the file, return to the cavity, and open system folder. Open black mesh dig. This file contains information about the geometry and the mesh. Uh, for example, in this part, we have the vertices of the geometry, in total eight vertices, the next part is blocks, for this case one block only, each number represents one vertex, and this is the mesh. For this case, 20 elements in x direction, 20 elements in y direction, and one element in z direction. The boundary in total for this case, we have three boundary conditions, moving wall, fixed walls, and front and back. Moving wall, has one face only, fixed walls, has three faces, and front and back has two faces. Close the file and open control D. This file contains information about the time. The solver in this case is icofoam, the start time is zero, the end time is 0.5, the time step is 0 0.005, and the write interval is 20. That means that information will be saved every 0.1 second. Close the file, 
And finally, we have a schemes file and solution file. We will talk about this file in the future videos in more detail. Return to the cavity folder and now open that terminal. Enter to the cavity folder, cd form run. CD again, cavity. If you want to see the files or folders, ls and enter. Okay, in the terminal, we have three folders, zero, constant, and system. In the window, is the same. Remember that we have the geometry in the block mesh dig file in the system folder. Now, for the generation of the mesh, write block mesh. Please consider uppercase and lowercase letters. Block mesh and enter. Done. The mesh has been generated and you can open constant folder. This is a new folder, polymesh. This polymesh contains the mesh information. Return to the terminal. And if you want to see the mesh, write para foan command. Please again consider uppercase and lowercase letters. This is para view. Here the cavity point foan is the file and apply. By default is the surface and change surface to surface with edge. And this is the mesh. Okay. 20 in X direction, 20 in Y direction, and one in Z direction. Close the preview. And now I go for solver. In the window, return to the cavity folder and appears new folders about that time. 0.1, 0.2, 0.5. In the terminal, the last point or the last time is 0.5. The previous is 495. That means that the time step is 0 0.005. Okay. Para foam again. Select cavity foam and apply. And this is the result. By default, show the pressure, but you can change velocity, for example, and you can see the mesh again. Well, dear friends, this tutorial was intended to familiarize us with the software. Later, we will continue with more tutorials. Thanks for watching.